Welcome back to the CityCloud OpenStack basic training program. This series will teach you how to master the basics of CityCloud OpenStack. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at volumes. Volumes in CityCloud OpenStack are equal to external hard drives when compared to physical hardware. You manage and create your volumes in your volume pool. Navigate to storage and then volumes in the menu. Creating a volume is as easy as naming the volume, deciding in which data center to store it, and choosing its size. Disaster Recovery, our automatic snapshot feature, is activated by default. If you don't wish to have daily snapshots of your volume, you can disable it. From the volumes pool, you can attach and detach a volume to and from any server in the same data center at any time. You can have several volumes attached to a single server, and detaching is as easy as clicking the detach button. If you need to extend a volume, just click the Extend Volume button. Choose a new volume size and click Extend Volume. Your data will stay intact and all that happens is that the volume size is changed. You cannot decrease the size of the volume. If you have previously activated Disaster Recovery and changed your mind, you can disable it. Click the little wheel and hit Disable Disaster Recovery. Bear in mind that all snapshots taken will be removed in the process and cannot be restored. You can copy a volume from one data center to another by clicking the copy button. Choose your target zone and click copy. The volume and all of its data will be copied to the new target zone. This process can take several minutes. If disaster recovery is activated on your volume, you can restore it to any of the available snapshots at any time. Click View Details and choose the snapshot you wish to revert back to. If you need a second copy of a volume, you first need to create a manual snapshot. Click the little wheel and Create Snapshot. Name your snapshot and hit Create. Then click the little wheel of the snapshot and hit Create Volume. Name the new volume and choose a size that is equal to or larger than the original. Thank you for joining our basic training program. Hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to post your questions in the comments below.